welcome to day two here in Puerto Portales in the Sunshine Island of Mallorca. <laughs> now we're having a wonderful event here in Mallorca. What a great place to race and a great place to party. Looking forward to a great day of racing, uh, quantum racing, uh, leading the regatta, but Sled just right behind them on the same points, and Bernanasek not far behind, one point behind as we go into the second day of racing. Should be another sea breeze day here in uh, Mallorca. Let's wait and see what happens. <laughs> Once again here in Puerto Portales, the sustainability message is uh, loud and clear. We've done our beach cleanup this morning. We had about 35 or 40 kids down uh, helping out from the uh, local sailing club and sailing schools. And of course, uh, sustainability uh, cleanup is one important aspect. But it's always fantastic to have young blood coming in to the 52 Super Series, meeting their heroes and interacting and seeing the uh, fantastic TP52 racing machines. When you're in the middle of this, you forget that you might be a hero to some of these kids, so it's really fun to watch them around the people that they recognize the names, they follow the sport, so that part of it's really rewarding. So guys, uh, who have you met? Uh, Harry, Harry, what? Harry Hutchison. <laughs> Harry Hutchison. <laughs> Harry what? Terry Hutchison. Terry Hutchison. Terry Hutchison, okay, So uh, who have you met? What met Terry Hutchison uh, is one of the uh, America's Cup uh, winners. Yeah. Uh, well, we, <laughs> We took a picture with him and we were part of it. Yeah, he's a very big boy. Yeah. <laughs> it's giant. Strong, yeah. yeah, it's so fun. Would you like to sail them one day? Would that be your uh, your dream? Yeah, <laughs> a lot. Yeah, I want to go now. <laughs> anyway, Ross McDonald then from Sled. Ross, talk to us a little bit about bringing the younger generation into sailing. What were your key influences when you were a kid? You know, little by little, you get into it and uh, you get hopefully get under someone's wing and they take you along and you get to go for a ride and next thing you know you're part of a racing team. Race number three got away on schedule, bang on time pretty much. Seabreeze about 12 knots, much the same as uh, yesterday. Off the start line it was absolutely critical and Brennanasek made a peach of a start on the pin end. They just ghosted up around the uh, pin end boat and got away and that was uh, pretty much the story of the race. Azura good all the way round the course uh, chasing in second. Brennanasek extended ahead and platoon consistent in third place and a great third race of the series four boats within one point of the lead and then there's a couple of other people sharking there in fifth and sixth so incredibly close the last four races uh, you know we've had a couple of wins but we've had a mid fleet and an eighth it's about being consistent do you remember it being this close in this fleet it's the first time we've everyone's been yeah with a chance to win it's quite tricky out there the fleet is a little compact with the nine boats now but we've got nine exceptionally good boats and you know make a mistake you're ninth Race four breeze once again very slightly less than in the uh, race number three but still the sea breeze a little bit further to the left. Again it was the pressure was on the pin end. Brennanasek just got closed out. They telegraphed their uh, intentions early on and uh, Prevetzer won the pin end and the best start of the day. Got themselves up uh, with an early launch uh, on the first beat led on the left side, crossed the fleet, led around the top mark with a big, big lead ahead of uh, Azura. Azura steady all the way around the course, so too were Platoon. Really hard to be consistent, but Azura came away with two seconds. Platoon two thirds uh, in this really intense day. Fabulous racing, but it's Quantum who still lead four and a five today. A couple of the boats brought in some new sails for this event. We didn't put any on, but we went out and looked at it. You know, maybe we better. You know, we felt we slightly lost a little bit of our speed edge and, um, you know, just went out to look at it and make sure we we're all on the same page of what we're going to do. You need a good preparation with all the team and very good example yesterday. We had a so bad day and so many bad uh, decisions and uh, bad moves had a really disaster day and uh, right now we had a comeback today. In the past we have uh, some bad days and uh, that's the reason this crew is together because it's easy to be friends and to be a crew when you are winning but it's important to be a team when you have a bad days. So this team uh, looks like that they want to have this new challenge to recover from the back and try to, to learn and try to, to be better. A few words about the leaderboard after today, it's incredible isn't it? I don't look at it till the second to last day. I've got no idea what the points are. Did I tell you? 
<laughs> no, I'm kidding. I do have a rough idea. I think it's great. And obviously, we, you know, we don't try to go out and have a good one and a bad one. We try to go out and get a av nice average day. And so we're, we're thrilled with six points on the day. After four races at the Porto Portal Sailing Week, the third regatta of the season, Quantum uh, Racing and Azura tied on points in first and second, both on 14. Then Brunenasek and Provetsa on 15. Then Platoon on 17. Then in sixth, Sled on 19. So only five points between the top six boats. So that's day two in the boiling hot sunshine in Porto Portals. Uh, join us for day three in the boiling hot sunshine in Porto Portals.